An introductory meeting between members of the St. Lucia Teachers Union's most recently elected executive body, Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edward, and other ministry officials, has been hailed by representatives of both parties as a success. Described by President of the St. Lucia Teachers Union, Vern Charles, as a staple, which typically precedes the start of the new academic year, representatives sought to discuss matters directly impacting educators island-wide. School will soon be reopening, and of course there are many um, issues, many matters which need to be highlighted, many items which need to be discussed, and basically this is what we have engaged in. Um, we have brought to the fore many of the teachers' issues, many of the challenges that they face, and uh, we are working with the Ministry of Education to ensure that with the reopening of school, that our teachers are working in safe and healthy environments, that their needs are being addressed. According to the SLTA president, matters most pressing to the organization were at the fore of issues addressed at the recent gathering. Describing the SLTU as an indispensable partner, working with the Ministry of Education to advance the national education agenda, Education Minister Sean Edward outlined areas of concern which have already been addressed. We have installed um, scores of cameras on the various schools. Um, we have embarked on a fencing program to keep perpetrators at bay, persons who have a tendency to tamper with, with school property. We also looked at some of the new initiatives that were in the budget for which we've received funding, for instance, the mathematics program. Commenting on the path forward, the education minister says, budgetary allocations indicate a vested interest in improving the achievement of students in the subject. Funding, he says, has also been directed to the reintroduction of support personnel for school principals. Previously, the party administration, under the NICE program, we had um, assistants working in the offices of the various principals, functioning as secretaries, and that enabled principals to do a lot more um, at the school level. But um, with the change of administration in 2016, that program was discontinued. And I'm extremely grateful for the fact that Prime Minister Pierre has put monies in the budget to reintroduce that program. We are not deploying assistance to all of the 72 primary schools we have at the moment, so we are resorting to a phased approach. In the first instance, 21 schools will be receiving principal's assistance. Teacher training also formed a pertinent part of discussions, an area described by the minister as being significant to both parties. Discussions on the policy adjustments and implementation are expected to continue. Reflecting on positive outcomes of the meeting, the SLTA president expressed a position of optimism on maintaining dialogue, a sentiment echoed by the education minister. With great hope, we are looking forward to seeing a very progressive, a very fruitful academic year. I think it was a very productive meeting. And the concerns are, are shared, the SLTU and the leadership of the Ministry of Education. And what is very important in all of this is that a lot of the budgetary requests we would have put through to the Ministry of Finance, they have been favorably considered by the Prime Minister, and I'm very excited um, with the ensuing academic year. The new academic year is expected to begin on September 2nd, 2024. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium.